So November's World Vegan Month, and I think I actually think it's a bit rich putting World Vegan Month right before Christmas because everything's all about Christmas, and I just don't think they're going to get recognised. But I recognise you guys. I'm not vegan, but I respect the choice. This is just pureed canned pineapple. You pop it in the freezer, it's going to make like a sorbet. So this is a circular bottle, and you'll see that we just like cut down the edges so that it's really easy to get your shape in and out of it. You could use a silicone mould or an ice mould or one of those plastic Easter moulds, just something round. So this is some melted vegan dark chocolate, and we're just going to pour it in and set it in the fridge. Now, two thin coats or even three thin coats here is way better than one thick. It's much easier to chew through. But once it's all set, you want to take a paintbrush and just kind of like spread a bit more of that melted chocolate around the outside there just to give it a coconut look. Super chill coconut cream, just the solids. I'll leave a recipe link down below or you can Google My Cupcake Addiction Vegan Desserts if you want to find this and a few more cool vegan ideas. So you're going to scoop in the pineapple puree and then top it with that beautiful coconut cream, add a few decorations and you've got coconut pina coladas. I won't judge if you add alcohol or with your these. But I might judge if you don't share this video with all your vegan mates. This is like a vegan coconut caramel and I had never tried this until now. So you've got coconut sugar and coconut milk. You're going to bring it to the boil for five minutes and then let it simmer for 15. And in that time, it's going to reduce down to almost like a treacle, like a really, it's, it's delicious. Just try it. So chilled coconut cream. We're going to remove just solids of the coconut cream. Whisk that up and make it nice and smooth and then gradually add your powdered sugar. I'll leave a recipe link down below, but you can also Google My Fit Pick Addiction Vegan Desserts to find this recipe again. Once that's all done, pop it into a piping bag, preferably with a star piping tip at the end because that's going to give us that kind of milk bar look. So we're going to serve this in the banana. You want to just take off the top layer and core out the center. This coconut caramel that we're going to pour in here is essentially like a toffee. So this is your vegan banoffee banana split. You guys can thank me later. You're going to seal that treacle in by just piping your cream mixture on top and then top it with some beautiful red cherries and you've got a gorgeous vegan banoffee split. Did you know in some countries like the Philippines, I think Brazil, there's quite a few of them, the avocado is almost never used as savory. It's used as sweet. So this is going to be an avocado ice cream. Now I'm going to get you to scoop out your beautiful ripe avocados, but keep the shells intact. We are going to use them to serve. I'm using some lemon juice, which is going to do two things. It's going to stop the avo going brown, and it's also going to add a little bit of zest. And then you want to just whisk that all up so that your avos are really smooth green puree. This is really chilled coconut milk, or sorry, coconut cream, and you're just going to use the solids off this. Whisk it up until, again, it's really smooth and light and fluffy. Some people like to add a little powdered sugar here, but we're going to use some agave. So fold your coconut cream and your avo together and then fold in your agave nectar. Um, is it agave? It's not agar, agar. No, it is agave. It is agave. Anyway, get the recipe in the link below. Once you've finished that, you can scoop it into its avocado skins. And then I'm just going to core out a little center and make a hole for this date. You are going to freeze them, but I wouldn't recommend freezing them with the dates inside um, because they can get very cold. So make the hole, remove the dates, and then put them back in just before you serve. Or you could use some chocolate truffles or something here. I'm so curious what you guys think of this recipe. For me, avocado has always been like guacamole and on sandwiches. So this was strange, but it is creamy and delicious. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Would you make this? These are like $400 a punnet at the moment. Raspberries are literally like gold in Australia. But anyway, you're going to take like $900 worth and blend it up into a nice puree. Sucks to be vegan, man. It's expensive. You want to strain that so through a sifter. So we're going to throw like half of the raspberries out. Again, makes me sad. Anyway, pop it off to the side, keep it in the fridge. And then you're going to melt some white chocolate. And you're also going to take some heavy cream. That doesn't feel very vegan. Well, it's not vegan or dairy-free or gluten-free. I don't know how this recipe made it in here. All right. Well, this is a delicious recipe. Um, it uses heavy cream, so it's not vegan. I apologize. I feel like it's a nice process to watch. Well, I don't think we can be sending this one off to our vegan friends. So it seems like I've got my recipes wrong. So this will be three vegan desserts and one very delicious, very good looking, um, not vegan, thousand dollar raspberry dessert <laughs> anyway you guys i'll leave the recipe on the blog with the other vegan desserts because i feel like otherwise how will you find it but i will make sure to mention it is not vegan um it's very cute though right we're doing gold leaf raspberries you could totally do this with your vegan coconut cream um yeah this one just 
snuck on by and it's for the non-vegan people. You can like my page, you can like my recipes, you can like me, you can not, whatever you like. It's all about what we like. But keep it sweet, be kind to each other and I will see you guys next time.